Hello students, this is a first of the solution videos for the decision making or decision control flow algorithm exercises. There are a total of around seven exercises. This is the solution to the first exercise. Before you proceed further to take a look at the solution, please be aware you have first made an effort, a very sincere effort to attempt the problems, evaluate them using the test table before continuing to watch this solution video. So it will always look easy when I show you the solution but when you make an effort to solve a problem you will really understand what parts you have understood and what you have not understood. So algorithm is all about doing things on your own. So here what I am asked to do in this particular problem is I am asked to find the average of three numbers only if the sum of those three numbers is not zero. So in step number one, I'll identify all the variables or memory locations I require to solve this particular problem. So the first number is going to be number one, number two in the second and number three is the third memory location. Sum is going to hold the sum of number one plus number two plus number three and average is going to hold sum upon divided by the 3 because there are 3 numbers. In order to calculate the sum and average, I need to ask the user to enter the numbers. The user enters 3 numbers n1, n2 and n3. Then what we will do is once the user enters the 3 numbers, let's try to understand what are the steps we need to follow. The next steps we need to follow are we need to find the sum first. Okay. Once we find the sum, the sum is simply the addition of three numbers n1 plus, sorry, number 1 plus, number 2 plus, number 3. If the sum is not equal to 0, then what I am going to do here is I am going to calculate averages sum divided by 3 and then I am simply going to print averages average and then I am going to come to stop. So this is how you go about finding the average only provided the sum is not zero. Now as usual as a good practice to understand how the logic works or whether the logic is correct we shall run a test plan. So in the first test plan I have shown you how to do the test plan here. So if you see here I have defined three variables number one, number two, number three and then I have sum and average. In step number one, I have not given them any value because these values are going to be calculated later on. That's why the computer is going to assign to those memory locations some garbage or random values. So that's why they're all question mark. Step number two, let us say I read 10, 20 and 0 into number one, number two and number three respectively. Sum and average have not changed at step number two because nothing has happened to sum and average. In step number three you will see that sum has been calculated as these three addition. Now if you look at 20 plus 30 sorry 20 plus 10 plus 0 it is 30. 30 is definitely not equal to 0. So what I am going to do is I am going to say average is 30 upon 3 and average is going to print out as 10. So this is an example of how you create a sample test plan in the columns you will have all the variables or the memory locations because that's what your program is doing trying to change or manipulate the memory location. Algorithm is nothing but it is playing around with the memory contents and each step of the algorithm is listed in stepwise fashion. Let's take a look at one more set of data. Okay, I have the same variables. In the first step nothing is given to them not even zero so they are going to contain some random or garbage values. Then what I am doing here is the user is entering 10, 0 and minus 10. In the third step I am calculating sum. Sum now happens to come as zero. Since sum is zero this condition becomes false. If sum equal to zero then this is not true. So straight away I will come and stop. The average is not going to be calculated. So I hope you understood this very simple problem to find the average of three numbers provided the sum is not a zero. 
Even if sum is negative, it is okay. It will still find the average. But if sum is zero, it will not find the average.